All right, guys, fair warning if you're watching this video, it's one heck of a crappy day. And I mean, very crappy day. Hey, what's up everyone, Jimmy Lee. Today I am kayak fishing somewhere in the southern New Jersey area. And it's basically all farmlands around me. I'm at the boat ramp right now. I heard there's a lot of good fishing here. And I just saw some folks over there catching a small little pickerel. So I am pretty excited. Um, it was raining a lot yesterday, so I didn't get to go out. But today, you know, it's a little windy, it's a little cloudy. I think it's gonna clear up soon and there should be some good fishing. So let's go. All right guys, you guys know that I love fishing for crappies. Got a light tackle rod, four pound cusk line. And there's a lot of woods here. So I'm gonna cast my small little grub tail. I'm gonna swim around these, um... oh, here's a fish. I was just talking about fishing for crappies. Let's see what we got here. First fish of the day is not a crappie. It's a, it's a bluegill. All right, so far so good guys. Let's see if we can pull out something else in this uh, field of stumps. I'm sure there's gonna be a bass or two, maybe a pickerel, yellow perch. Everything should be hiding in like places like these. smokes. It's a good size pickerel. Oh. Don't get tangled on my um, Hobie Mirage Drive. Dude. Dude, he's a good one. Four pound test line and might be cut off. I need to play him good. Yeah, play him good. Tension on, you won't get tired. Don't get tired, you won't get tired. Yes! Oh, look at this guy right here. Dude, what a nice size. Pour some water out. Bar. All right, buddy, buddy, buddy. Let me put him back in, guys. I say he's probably close to 20 inches. It's kind of skinny, but uh, yeah, man. I think it's a pretty awesome fight right there. Four pound test line. So far, the stump field is uh, two casts, two fish, I think, or close enough. Uh, but I didn't cast that um, many times with this grub tail. I did cast it with my double fluke rig that I tied. And I had a video up the other day catching bass uh, at some other place, trying out first time. And uh, I was hoping I would catch some stuff with it. I might have to downsize because of the storm. We'll see. Typically, days after uh, a storm like this, um, I do a lot better with small baits. So we'll see. So I'm using a 1 16th ounce jig head and a 2 inch grub minnow. I do kind of go fast. That's why I, I use these small little lures. I just comb through um, the waters first with it and I'll come back later and throw other lures. Slow down like uh, with a jig and pig instead. Throwing right into actual structure. 
go to get the active fish first and then swing back around and get the, the lazy fish. Here's a fish right there. This might be a better fish. Because he was pulling drag a second ago. Is it? Oh, it is a fish. I thought it got snagged. Holy smokes. Dude, what is this? What is this, guys? Holy smokes. My line guys it cut my line it was a good one I, I say it was probably bigger than the other one a second ago so let me put this away I'm gonna actually have to increase my um, line size so I am not losing these right here not too bad not too bad of a size I am using right now a two inch grub tail 16th ounce jig and I tied a craze loop to make the jig a little bit more um, more action when I swim it because it's not tied directly onto the eyelid of the jig it allowed it to swing around when I swim it so give it a shot craze loop He wasn't even hooked all the way. Sweet, buddy. Off we go. Here we go. Another crappy. Looks like this is the end of where I need to go. Super duper shallow. I'm sure this is where all the river, you know, water comes from. The beginning of the lake. Probably a good spot to go to um, earlier season when the water feeds in. So I'm gonna turn around. Whoa, whoa, whoa! And I said I was gonna turn around. What happened? Oh man! Holy smokes! I said I was gonna turn around, and I was gonna turn off my camera. I had my my lure very very close to the kayak. Was about to put my rod down. Got me a fat little bass. Oh, that was that was hilarious, guys. All right, in you go. Crappy. Yep, another one. All right. Got him really good at the bottom jaw. Alrighty. Oh. 
okay. Ooh, it's a nice bass. It's a nice bass. these guys fin pop up you squeeze them by the belly and just tickle a little bit and then as you guys can see the fin comes out this works for almost every single fin fish out there give it a shot guys seems like most of the fish are definitely on the other side of uh, lily pads and where the winds are blowing from you know I tried a couple other spots I think I caught you know crappies Mainly on that side, even the bass right here. So, this must be the pattern for the day. Now, I always say that when it's really important and you need to position yourself in the right spot at the right time. I think this is one of those days. You know, I've found out, you know, two to the spots, same thing. And then I've been going around, you know, fishing and fishing and fishing. It seems like it's pretty much uh, consistent throughout. So I'm gonna continue fishing um, a specific side of every single lily pads and see if I catch any more fish. Oh man, it's a fat crappy, big one. Check that out. Here's another one. part of the um, uh, deeper side of the lily pads and fish along that is producing a lot of fish as well so figuring out the pattern is the key man I've been catching a lot of crappies, uh, so it's freaking awesome here. Uh, didn't expect this many crappies. Uh, I used a three inch grub tail, but now I'm gonna downsize back to the two inch grub tail, hoping that there's some other small species, some other panfish that I have not caught yet. So far I got the bluegill, black crappie, largemouth bass, and pickerel. If I could do one more species, whether it's a um, um, pumpkin seed or red ear or yellow perch, white perch or whatnot, catfish, that would be superb. So uh, let's keep going until we catch one of those. Holy smokes, guys, look at this. Come on, man, I was just fishing here. Another small one. Got another crappy. Dude, look at him. Look how thick he is. Crappyzilla. There we go. And you ready? Rub the belly. Right there, look at that. Tickle, tickle. Rub the belly. Check this guy out, look at the teeth. All right, back in you go, buddy. Well, oh. slippery I have lost count how many crappies I've caught for today. Alright guys, I didn't lie to you guys, today was one heck of a crappy day, in fact, I'm actually doing my extra right now, which is kind of weird, 
uh, because there are just so many clips of me catching crappies I thought I would just say thank you for watching if you guys like you know see me catch more crappies and other species and off my kayak you know make sure you, make sure you guys hit the like button subscribe to my channel uh, other than that you guys could probably stop watching this video now I mean who tells the subscribers and viewers to stop watching the video uh, but I'm telling you guys you guys technically stop watching the video unless you just want nothing but just straight up catching fish because the remaining part of this uh, video is just me catching fish a lot of fish a lot of crappies because like I said it's one crappy day Anyway guys, enjoy the rest of the video. Tight lines. Alright boys. Them crappies are schooling hard. I wonder if I'm gonna hit like 100 crappies today. I mean, I'm close to 30, right? I'm dead serious. I'm close to like so many. Can't even keep count anymore. What a crappy full day. Can't get better than this, guys. Look at that. Nice colors. Oh, I see a fish jumping. There's probably some bait fish right here, guys. Alright, got another one. Galore. Oh, another fat one. Guys, this is such an epic day today. I am so happy I'm out here. Another guy right here. Take out the belly. Another one. Today is a very successful day. I am about to end my day, maybe a few more casts as I drift back to the uh, boat launch. But look at that, another good one. 
throw something. So jump. Hopefully you'll see me. Did I get him? Did I get him? Nah. I thought I got a bass. I'll tell you what. Still getting these giant slabs. I've been fishing for so long. I think this is like, gee, maybe 30 something crappies.